mathematicians, do you remember on Friday how we were working with playing cards? We were decomposing seven, eight, and nine. Do you remember that? Yeah. Um, and I put up some of the work that we finished up with at the very end of math workshop from last time. I put up Monse's work over here and Enrique's work over here. And we were ending math workshop last time with a really interesting observation. We were learning, or we had noticed, that the way that Monse decomposed seven, we were like, wait a second. Monse, where's your group of three? Do you remember? Can you come and show us where the group of three is, please? Come on up. Yeah, I'm hearing some words. Let's see if Monse remembers. Where's your group of three? Come on over. You want to double check? One. Well, come on over, all the way. One, two, three. So we noticed that your group of three was over there. Is that what you were saying, Danielle? And then when we were looking at Enrique's work, where was Enrique's group of three? Do you see it, Monse? Here. You can say it's right here. Would you count and make sure to prove it to us? One, two, three. I remember that too. So I remember that we, thanks, would you go back to your spot, please? We were definitely taking a look at these two different decompositions, and we were thinking to ourselves, whoa, the groups are in different places, but the numbers are the same. How can that be? And I told you that we were going to start off math workshop today by talking about that exact same thing. So mathematicians, today we're going to be working on decomposing 10. I want you to take a look up here, just with your eyes right now, and think in your smart brain, what do you notice about these decompositions? How are they the same or similar? And how are they different? So think again in your brain. What do you notice? How are they the same? And how are they different? And I'm going to give you about 10 seconds to do some thinking, OK? So Monse has her eyes up here. She's doing some thinking. Madden is also doing some thinking. He's noticing what's the same or similar and what's different. And in a moment, I'm going to invite you to share what you're noticing with a friend sitting next to you. You're going to tell them, I notice, or something that's similar, or something that's the same is, or something that's different is. Please turn and tell something you're noticing to a person sitting next to you. Can you turn and talk to your partner? Finish up your conversations, please, and turn back this way. Thanks. Finish up your conversations and turn back this way. I was hearing a lot, Monse and Kaylee, of really <laughs> smart math ideas. Can we just hear from a few friends about what they were noticing? <laughs> hey, Maria, what were you noticing? Would you please come on up so you can communicate with us and we can see your face? I know it is that they're the same because these, that one and that one are the same. Say more about how they're the same, please. Because they're eight. They're eight. Kaylee, what is Maria saying? They're the same, but um, they're, they're the same because um, there's eight. Do you want to ask your friend, is that what you're saying? Maria, that was part of what I heard you saying. Would you show us where the two eights were that you were talking about, please? Come on over. Show us, please. Because I want to make sure that Kaylee and the other friends are really hearing what you're saying. Sorry. One of the eights is? This one. And the other one is this one. Can we double check to make sure that it's eight? Let's find out. Help us count, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do we agree it's eight? Yeah. Madden, do you agree that's eight? No, Let's try the other one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, Kaylee, what's your friend Maria saying? Maria saying. Maria 
there's eight. There's eight and eight. There's eight and eight. And I'm hearing Derek say, what about the two? What about the two, Derek? We should count, we should count it? Yeah. One, two, two. three. We should like count the whole thing first. We should like count that. And then after that, we can count that. And then we'll count it all together. It sounds like we'll do a lot of counting and we'll find out how many there are all together. Let's double check and make sure that the other group is a group of two on both cards. Are you okay with that? All right, Maria, be our, our pointer, please. One, one two. two. One, two. two. So both cards have eight, and both cards have two. two. Both cards have eight, and both cards have two. Thanks, Maria, for explaining that to us. I'm wondering what other mathematicians are noticing. Pass, please. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Enrique, what are you noticing? Let's, let's show listening and respect. We can turn our eyes towards our friend Enrique, Daniel. I noticed that there are two places, two, um, two hearts have the, are in the same place, but they're, but they're different. They're not in the same place, but they have the same number. That sounds really important. Can you say it one more time? They're, they're so something the two of hearts. The two of hearts are not in the same place, but the number is in the right spot. Oh my gosh. I think I'm hearing a really, really important idea. Is there somebody who can repeat what their friend Enrique said, either in his words or in their own words? Isabel, you, you gave us a quiet hand right away. Can you say what your friend Enrique just said? This is really important. Enrique said they're the same numbers, but they're not in the same group. Do you want to ask him, is that what you said? What you said? Is that? Is that what you said? No. I said that um, the heads were in a different place and the, and the numbers were, the numbers were, the numbers were in the same, in the same place. Hang on, I got, we got a little confused there. Let's get, we have to be really precise here, right? Let's make sure we're really attending to precision here, okay? What are you saying is different about the two? The two are, are in the right spot. They are in the same spot or in a different spot? They're in the right spot. They're in the right spot, sure, but are they in the same spot or are they in a different spot? Are, is this two right here in the same spot as the two over here or in a different spot? <coughs> okay, so the twos are in. The two are in a different spot. But the number... The numbers are in the same spot. Are the same. The numbers are the same. Do you want to ask Isabel to repeat what you were saying one more time? Can you repeat it? And you can say the hearts are in the, in the different place, and the, and the, and the numbers on the bottom are, the, are in the right place. They are the same? Do you want to ask Enrique, is that what you were saying? Is that what you were saying? Yes. Okay, so Isabel, what do you think about that? Do you agree with Enrique? Do you disagree? What are you thinking? I agree with, I, I agree with Enrique. Can you come on up, please, and tell us why you agree? How do you know that the twos show the same number, even though they're in different places? Let's turn our eyes towards Isabel, okay? Go ahead and turn your body towards your friend, Isabel. <laughs> Because because they're because they're two on the bottom and they're two right here, because they're because they make two because one two, one two. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's how Enrique knows they're two. They're two hearts. Is that how you knew that there were two hearts? Yes. That sounds really important. Thanks for explaining that to us. I'm wondering if we can get one more set of ideas, my friend Derek. Be ready, please about how um, these, these decompositions of 10 are the same or how these decompositions of 10 are different. Let's find one more idea from a friend on the carpet. My friend Monse, what are you thinking? Thank you so much for letting your friend Monse have her thinking time. I know she has a smart idea and something important to say.
we'll say, can I draw your attention to one thing that we haven't talked about yet? Can you take a look down here? What are you seeing with those equations? <coughs> Hold on, let's let Monse have her own thinking. Think time. Say it one more time. You're saying they're in the same place. Can we actually, they are in the same place, I agree. I'm wondering if we can see Monse, if the numbers are actually the same. Monse, can you come up and help us out, please? Friends are almost off the carpet. Israel, please be ready so you can learn from your friend Monse. Okay? <coughs> Monse, in the equation that I wrote when I did this decomposition, where is the group that this two represents? Can you touch it, please? Where's the group that that two represents? You can say that group is? That group is two. It's right? It's right. It's right here, okay. And in this equation over here, turn back this way, please. Where, where is this group of two represented on the playing card? Right it's right there. And in this equation, what about this group of eight? It's right here. Mm-hmm. And in this equation, where's this group of eight? Right here. It's right here. So what are you noticing about these equations? Can you turn towards your friends, please, so we can hear your smart idea? What do both equations have? Two. They both have? They both have two. And? Eight. Oh, let's see if somebody can repeat that smart idea that you just had. Malcolm, can you repeat what Monse just said? Mm. If you didn't hear her, you can, of course, ask her to say it again, please. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Can you? Both equations? Both equations have two. Oh, and the, two. sorry, let's, we need that really loud mathematician voice. Go Both for it. Both equations have two. And? And eight. Once I said? Once I said there's... What did you say about those equations? Can we find another friend who can say what Monse was saying? <coughs> and then you can repeat what that friend is saying. Let's wait. This is an important idea, so we just want to make sure everybody can hear it. Emily thinks she can say what Monse is saying. Would you please tell your friend Malcolm? I want to say the expression. The both equations. Both equations of two and eight. Do you want to ask Monse, is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah? So Monse said. That both equations have a? That both equations What is that? A group of? Two. And a group of? Eight. And a group of eight. Are we on the same page? Yeah. So even though the equations, even though the groups are in different places, they have the same equation? Is that what I'm hearing you say? That's crazy. Daniel has the last word on this. He's got a quiet hand in his heart for something he really wants to say. Oh, we'll talk about that in a moment. We'll talk about that in a moment, okay? I think I'm hearing what Danielle is saying. He's confused about why I've written a 10 on this side. Okay, Monsa, can you go back to your seat? All right, so mathematicians, you've given me a lot of ideas, and you've given your friends a lot of ideas about things to be thinking about as you go back and try to decompose 10 today. I want to show you, Kaylee, two resources that you can use to help you find as many different decompositions of 10 as possible today, and then I want to send you off for work time, okay? So first off, this chart up here just gives you reminders about what you're doing today, okay? So the instructions for today are, when you go back to your tables, you will decompose 10 into two groups. Abigail, will you help me read that, please? You will, you will decompose, decompose 10 into, into two so I actually put up some of Monse's work from last week. Monse had decomposed this eight card into three groups, a group of three and a group of two and a group of three. Derek, I'm going to repeat this so you can hear. A group of three, a group of two, and a group of three. Mathematically, totally correct, but that's not what we're doing today. We're decomposing um, into two groups, which means you should have two groups circled just the way that Mr. Torney had two groups circled. The next instruction says, find as many different ways as you can. Will you help me read that, Israel? As? As. 
Many. Many. Different. Different. As. As. You. Can. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time, and then I want you to repeat that instruction for all friends, okay? Find as many different ways as you can. As many different Nice persistence. Thanks for sticking with that. And then to Danielle's point, at the bottom, I've written some of the math symbols that we use to describe addition sentences. Um, Danielle was saying, Mr. Torney, your sentence looks backwards, right? Because I'll move this up so that all friends can see it. Um, he was saying, Mr. Torney, your sentence looks backwards because you had hmm plus hmm. He was thinking it should be 2 plus 8 equals 10. Was that what I was hearing you say? That's one way mathematicians can write number sentences, the way that I chose to write them. 10 is the same as 2 plus 8, also totally OK. right? There's different ways that we write equations. Um, so those are the instructions. In a moment, you're going to go to your table, and you're going to be trying to decompose 10 into two groups in as many different ways as you can. The other piece that I want to tell you about is the talk piece. Can you go ahead and turn towards the easel, please? Now, during your independent work time today, Mr. Torney is going to be walking around, and Miss Nicole is going to be walking around too, and we're going to be talking to groups of mathematicians. If you need help, or if you want somebody to help you with your thinking or to check your work, who are the people that you can talk to? Who are the people that you can talk to? Evelyn, who are the friends you can talk to? Um, to, to the people, so, uh, the friends are the table. Yeah, we should absolutely talk to friends at our tables, because those mathematicians are the experts in our classroom. They can help you figure out what's going on with your decomposition. So for instance, Isabel, if Mr. Torney was finished with this decomposition and you were sitting at my table, I might walk up to you and be like, hey, Isabel, I have decomposed 8 or 10 into 2 and 8. And then you could say, I agree or I disagree. I agree because I can, oh. I can, see, I can see them right here and right here. Oh, Isabel said, I agree, because I can see them right here and right here. And then I might say to Isabel, can you prove it? Can you prove that this is 2 and 8? This is 2 and 8 because I can see 2 and they're 2 right here and 8 and 8. Mm -hmm. And how can you prove that that's, that's 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So she could count to so prove it, or I could say, how do you know? Or if Isabel thought that Mr. Twenty was wrong or made a mistake, she could say, I, I disagree. And I would again ask her, can you prove it or how do you know? So if you need help, you should absolutely walk up to a friend at a table um, to get some help from those friends. Thumbs up if you're ready to go. Okie dokie. When Mr. Torney tells you to, you're going to come on. Well, actually, when Mr. Torney gives you a marker, you're going to come on up and you're going to get a, a playing card to decompose. I wonder how many different ways there are to decompose eight into two groups. What are you noticing? I noticed that there are four. Are you sure that's four? One, two, three, four, five. Did five. you change your idea? Yes. Yeah, what are you I noticing? That there are five and five. You noticing that there's five and five? Oh, what are you hearing your friend Evelyn saying? She has the same. She has the same. How do you know it's the same? Because I see um, five and five. You see five and five. Hey friends, one more, one more thing. Can you touch your shoulders? Can you touch the air? Can you touch the shoulders? Your shoulders? Can you touch your nose? Mr. Torney is really surprised. You all are being super, super shy. Do you have important things to be saying to your friends right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's totally okay for you to be talking. Melton, get to work. <laughs> oh, Monse has a different way. Why? Wait, so wait, what did you hear Evelyn saying? Can you repeat it? What's your way that you found to decompose? Like five. It's a group of five and a group of five. Oh. And there, Evelyn said that there are a group of ten and there are a group of ten. Is that what you said? That's not what I heard. Tell her what you said. I, Did you write your I equation? I said um, they're the same because I know. I'm sorry. Did you write your equation? Five. They're the same because yeah, you got a six. they're by five. Nice strategy to find out how to write six. Yep, you got it. Write it down. Did you know this table was six? Mm, this table's also the number six. Numbers are everywhere. Mm -hmm. You got a group of five, and what's your other group? Five, six, seven, eight, 
So let's keep writing our number seven. That's six seven, plus four. Nine, ten. You know how to write four. I did it. Ten. You did it. What's your next step? Get that another one. Okay, and then when you come back, I really want to. Well, I'll wait for you to come back. It's the same as. Can you write the mathematical symbol that shows it's the same as? Hold up. You, Sabrina has the same way too? That way has been really popular so far. Hold on, Daniela. What, um, what was Evelyn saying to you? That there are five and five. There's a group of five and a group of five. And together that makes... Ten. Okay. Is that what you were saying, Evelyn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is the same as... How many is that the same as? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and write that down, please. I did it. You did it. Well, you better record it with a number sentence. And then you can ask your friend to help you check. You're thinking, what's that? Yeah, it's just like on, um, it's just like on the cards. That number tells you how many hearts there are. All right, so read me your number sentence, please. Six plus is the same as how many all together? I want you to double check how many are in that group. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus four is the same as ten. Nice. Do you have another way? Look, Maria has a six plus four is the same as ten, but it doesn't look the same as yours. Tell me about the sway that you found to decompose You decomposed it? Hold on, Isabel, we're going to need your help in a second. Mm -hmm. And then you circled them. All right, so I, I'm seeing, what are you seeing here, Isabel? I'm seeing two. Yep, and what's in the other group? Will you count and help us find out? Oh, you all do it for us? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, hold on. We try to count accurately. Let's have a counting cap in mind as we're counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you agree there are eight? You say, I agree there's eight. Now, Isabel, here's the area that, and Alexa, we would love your help with this too. I'm taking a look at Kaylee's number sentence. Alexa, can you just pause for one second? I'm taking a look at her number sentence. Can I read it to you? Okay, let's, or maybe one of you can read it. Ten, Ten plus, plus two is the same as? Is the same as? What number is that? Eight. eight. Okay. Ten plus two is the same as eight. Is that is that what this picture? Hold on, just pause for one second. Let's put it down for one second. Is that what this picture is showing? A group of ten plus a group of two is the same as eight. It is. Why do you think that? Where's the group of ten? Um, the 10 is all of them. Wait, so it's not 10 plus two more? No, it's not, right? Is, it, is this a group of 10 and two more? No, it's a group of... You just counted. How many are in this group? Do you remember? How many did Isabel oh, yeah. say they were in this group? One, oh, she's double checking. Two, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, write it down. So there's a group of eight. Eight. Hold on, let's rewrite the entire equation just so we don't get confused. There's a group of, okay, that's fine. There's a group of eight and a group of two. two and together that makes a group of ten. Okay, so let's make sure the ten is on the right side. 
We want to make sure that the symbols are accurate, right? <laughs> eight plus two is the same as ten. Does that make sense? Eight yeah. plus two is the same as ten? Yes. A group of eight plus a group of two is the same as a group of ten altogether? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? What do you think? All right, you ready for your next play? And I'm interested in how you know that that's true. Oh, okay. Wait, what did you just notice? I did the same You did the same thing. Okay, so what's 10 the same as? Let's, let's make sure that we're, if we're going to write it that way, let's write the equal sign. So 10 is the same as... Oh, okay. You've got your group of 8. What do you have here? A group of... 2. And that's the same as... Is it the same as what? It's the same as... Do you want to count all together to find out how many it is a group of eight plus a group of two all together is? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's the same as a group of ten. You got it. And look, the card tells you how to write ten. Remember we talked about that? Let's make sure the, the digit's on the right side. Yep. Will you read me your number sentence? A group of eight. Group of eight. Plus. Plus two. A group of two. No, that's okay. A group of two. A group of two is the same as... Or equals, you're right. Equals eight. Equals eight. No, it equals... <coughs> Wait, how many does it equal all together? You just told me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. Whoa, oh, slow down there. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A group of eight plus a group of two is the same as a group of ten. ten. Are you ready to find a different way? Yep. Did you find a different way or is that the same? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Go ahead and write down the equation. I'm curious about how you know it's the same because they look different to me. Alright, Alexa, I want to check in with you really fast about what's going on here. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh, you're writing your equation, okay. 3 plus... Yep. It's the same as... Of course, equal to ten. Interesting. Okay, now let's take a look at this one. I <coughs> tell me about the different groups you have here. There's a group of, and a group of, and a group of, and a group of. Now I agree that this is a great way to decompose ten. Can you go ahead and take a look at the chart for Mr. Tony's first rule for today? It says decompose 10 into two groups. What does it say? <coughs> decompose 10 into two groups. Great, so this one has two groups. I agree. And this one has two groups. Does this have two groups or more than two groups? It has more, right? No big deal. How many groups are there? One, two, three, four. No big deal. I wonder if there's another way to be compared to the two groups. Let's save this one. This one's really interesting, and we're going to talk about this type of decomposition later this week. Do you want to save this one for now? Okay, can you go get a different way and see if you can find another way? It looks like what? It looks like popcorn. It looks like popcorn. I wonder if the numbers on that one are going to be different. Check out the way that Isabel or Alexa just found. Three plus seven is the same as ten. Have you, either of you found that way yet? No. It's Enrique. Enrique found this way, really? Yeah. Oh, I better go check in with him. I just heard that Enrique found the same way. I wonder if you might be interested in seeing it. Do you want to go show him this way? Just found and see if he really has the same way. Yeah? No? It looks like it, Alexa wants to keep looking at the way she's doing right now. It doesn't look the same as Enrique's, but it has the same numbers. 
and very interested to it see like his the wedding. Same, but it doesn't, it, it doesn't have the same numbers. I it guess. looks the same, but it, wait. Sorry. It Yo. looks the same, but it doesn't have the same numbers? Yes. I, mean, I, I don't agree with Kaylee. You don't agree with Kaylee? Well, you, you'll have to talk about it. I'm going to go check in with some other friends, okay? Okay. How's it going, Emily? Oh my gosh. That, I have not seen that way yet. Can you tell me about your thinking? Hold on, Santos, check this out. A group of zero. Uh huh, plus a group of? What's in this group right here? Okay, group of zero plus a group of ten. I'm with you. So let's go and write that. A group of zero plus a group of ten is the same as. What is it the same as? Wait, Santos. Yeah, go ahead and write it down. Check this out. I'm really curious to see what you think about this. Emily, will you explain the way you just found your friend Santos? Mm -hmm. So there's a group of zero and a group of ten. And together that makes ten. What do you think about that? I think that about. Do you agree that that's a way to decompose ten? Garrett? That's the second reminder. We're not, sorry, once again, we're not touching the microphone. And there's zero plus, plus. Where's the group of zero? Where is it? Here. Yeah, but where in the picture is the group of zero? I see the group of ten. Yeah, where's the group of zero? Oh, it's like, it's like here because there's nothing in it? Okay. And there's a group of ten, and together that makes... Really? Zero plus ten is the same as ten? What? <laughs> what? Ten makes ten plus zero makes really ten plus zero is the same as group of ten. Do you have this way yet? No. Now I'm gonna take a look at this way that you just made right here. I'm curious about it. Let's see. This was reminding me of the Mr. Corny way that I did at the beginning. You're saying you have a group of eight and a group of two. Can you show Emily where your group of eight is? Where's your group of eight on this way? Can you count your group of eight for us, please? What are you hearing Santos say? This group of eight is? This group of eight. Where is this group of eight? Right here. And where's Santos' group of two? Is that right? Yeah? Okay, so we're on the same page. This is a group of eight and a group of two, and together it makes ten. I wonder if there's a different way that you can find. What do you think? Yeah? All right, go for it. They both have four. They both have four, and they both have six. But they're the same. They're in the same equations. They're in the same equations. Okay, I got Hold on one second. Wow, I'm seeing that you're doing a ton of smart thinking. Yeah. Although... I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight. Now. Okay. I'm, work I'm working on Hold on, on though. We haven't finished all of the different parts, okay? So let's slow down. Can you put your marker down for one second? Remember, Mr. Torney doesn't care about you finding eight different ways or 16 different ways, right? Yeah. Mr. Torney is way more interested that you're doing some smart math thinking. Yeah. What am I more interested in? Make it do some smart. smart math thinking. Okay, do I care how many ways you found? No. No. So I want you to really do some... I really want you to do some really smart math thinking, and I also want you to do three dragon butts. Calm down. Okay. Ready? Okay, so let's slow down. So these ways are really interesting, right? And I agree that there is a group of three and I agree that there's a group of five. 
Do you remember Mr. Torney's first rule? How many groups are we decomposing into today? Eight and two. Into two groups. How many groups are we doing? Into two groups. And when I look at this paper, I see one, two, three groups. How many groups do I see? One, two, three. One. Three groups. So this is right. It's mathematically correct, but it's not what we're doing today. Okay, so can we save this? We're going to be looking at this type of decomposition later this week. Okay, let's save it for now. Let's save this one for now too. Slow down, please. I want to take a look at this one right here. Tell me about the different groups that you've decomposed. I got two, a group of. A two, one, two, three, four, so let's write that down. You have a group of two. Five, and a group of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a group of eight. So let's write plus a group of eight. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, five. Five. Make sure that you circle that entire group so it looks like one. It's the same as. Can you write the mathematical it's symbol the that means it's the same as? It's the equal sign? It's the same as one, two, three, four, five, it's the same six, as. seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. It's mm -hmm. the same as ten. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You will have to look at the schedule later. I know there's a camera in front of it. Okay, hold on. Malcolm, I've got a question for you. Can I borrow this way that you just made? Derek, take a look at this, please. What? Take a look at this. Malcolm has a group of, what's this group right here? Steve, do you want to help us out with this too? He's got a group of two. Where's your group of two? All right, I'm talking to Derek. Where's Derek's group of two? Do you see it? Right here. Right there. And he's got a group of eight. One, will you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Eight. 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 Mm-hmm. That's a group of two and a group of eight. All together, that's a group of... Not ten. Ten. Wait a second. I see, we even seeing the same equation. Two plus eight is the same as ten. Two plus eight is the same as ten. Danielle says he has this way, too. Kind of. Come on over, Danielle. Take a look. What's going on with these different decompositions? Hold on. There, I, look, let's check it out. See, Steve? I see 2 plus 8 is the same as 10. 2 plus 8 is the same as 10. 2 plus 8 is the same as 10. But on this one, the group of 2 is here. On this one, the group of 2 is here. And on this one, the group of 2 is right there. What do we think about that? This is reminding me about what Enrique said. Steve, do you remember what Enrique was saying to us earlier? He had the same way I have. Yeah, you guys, so these are the same. What was Enrique saying about the two? They're two both in the same. They're both? They're both two. But they're in? Different places. They're in different places, and they have the same number sense, even though they're in different places. So interesting. All right, what's your next step? There's you, a lot you of them. You have this way. I'm going to go in our paper. Thanks, Malcolm. I have this one. Let's make another way to decompose. Okay. I think I have to make a group. Okay, let's make a plan first. Think my, about it. Where, where's a group that you see? How many groups are we making? Two. Okay. My two is going to be right here. Okay, so right here, here and... The other one is going to be right here. All right, let's circle those two one groups. One of my two is going to be right here. One of your two groups? Six one. The whole thing, though. Right? So let's just keep... Let's circle so we know it's a group. Where's that group? Right here. Okay, now circle your other group, the whole thing. There you go. I'm going to have the same one as you. Go, go, go. Go, go. You want that show? Danielle, make sure you circle so it looks like it's one whole one, group, two, okay? Three, four, five. I got five. five. Uh-huh. Keep going. Yep. Equals. Does that equals? Five plus... Yes. Five. How do you know that's five? Because one, has that two, one. three, four, five. Oh, it even looks the same. All right, five plus five. Okay. I have that one. Okay. It's the same way, but it's in the different places. Same way, but in different places. Are you serious? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Okay, keep going. It's the same one as there. It's the same as? Two. Uh, five. I, I think it can be yours. It's the same as? It's the same as five. It's the same as five? Five, ten. Five is five is ten. Yeah. Wait, how does Steve know it's ten? Steve, how do you know it makes ten? 
because oh, you, need, you need to count the whole entire Let's total. Let's count the whole entire total. That was Danielle's word from Friday. Remember one, total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten. 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 Write it ten. down. You got it. Oh my gosh. Mathematicians freeze. Can you pile up your papers into a pile just like Sabrina's just done? Cap your markers and transition safely to the carpet. We have to talk about what we've just learned. It melts. One, two, three, four. Put your papers on the floor, please. One. Put your papers on the floor, please. Zero. Okie doke. So in one second, you and your partner are going to share your math thinking with the person sitting next to you, okay? So for instance, Daniela, if you were my partner, can we show your friends what this turn talk is gonna look like? Isabel, please put your papers on the floor. So can I go first or can you go first? Oh, thanks. And I would be showing her, this is a shoulder to shoulder turn and talk so we can see each other's work. I have a group of two and a group of eight. A group of two plus a group of eight is the same as 10. Do you agree? Yes. Because? Because there are 10. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Thanks. Your turn. I know Let's that, our friends. that zero, <coughs> five right there and five right here. And they make, they make ten. I agree. I see a group of five, one, two, three, four, five, and a group of five, one, two, three, four, five, and together five plus five makes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, and then it would be my turn again. Please turn and share your work with the person sitting next to you. It looks like Israel has that same way. Um, turn and talk. Who's gonna go first? No, that's great. Keep going. Together makes. Do you want to ask him what do you think about that? What do you think about that, Steve? You disagree. Okay, let's figure it out. Where's your group of three? Mm -hmm. And where's the group of seven? You must make sure it's seven. Steve, will you count to make sure it's seven? Okay, so far so good. There's a group of three and a group of seven. Together, she's saying that makes. It makes. Will you find out and see if it does make 10? Wait a second. Can I steal this way and this way very fast? Is that okay? Yeah. Keep talking. Can you finish up your conversations, please, and turn back to Spike? Can you finish up your ways? Your conversations and turn back this conversations and turn back this way, please. Thanks. Just waiting for a few more friends to finish up their conversations and turn back. Please put your papers down so they won't be distracting to you. Okay. Thanks. Mathematicians, just the same way that we opened up our mini lesson today, I want you to take a look at the Abigail way to decompose 10 and the Danielle way to decompose 10. I want you to ask yourself that same math question we started off our day with. What do you notice about these ways? What's the same about these ways? And what's different about these ways to decompose 10? Mostly, let's have our eyes up on the chart, please. Derek. I'm going to give you about 10 seconds of quiet thinking time. So Kaylee and all friends, put your eyes up on the chart at Abigail's way and Danielle's way. And think in your smart brain, what's the same? What's different? And what do you notice? And guess what? For, this is really reminding me of something that Enrique said earlier. A few more seconds to think. When you're done thinking, you can, of course, show me with a quiet hand at your heart. Miss mm -hmm. Maria, please put your Band-Aid on and leave it on. Um, Daniela, you had a quiet hand at your heart right away. Would you please come on up and tell your friends what you're noticing? I noticed that um, of Abigail's and Daniela's, there are four and four. Hold on. I, we want you to explain more in a second. Santos, can you repeat what Daniela just said?
Can you say it again one more time? Um, there are Daniels and Avicas. There are four and four. In the pictures, there's. Is that what you said? No. Okay, one more time. Um, Pretty um, close. Um, Abigail and Daniel are four. He has Abigail and and Daniel four. <coughs> Sorry. Can you say one more time? Derek was talking to his friend Santos about the carpet. Let's, we're, we won't be talking about math right now. Um, Abigail and Daniel are <laughs> four and four. Are four and four. Ask her, is that what you said? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you noticed that was that's one thing that's the same. When I look at those four and fours, though, they don't look the same to me. Do they do those fours look the same to you, Madden? Yes. They do? Yes. Because I think I heard is I think I heard Daniela saying that, right? Okay, but Mr. Tony, I just want to be really clear about what I'm talking about. This looks different to me, right? One of the fours is right here, one, two, three, four, and one of the fours is up here, it's up and down, one, two, three, four. Madden, what are you hearing Mr. Tony say? Do you want to come up and show your friends what Mr. Tony is saying? The fours are up and down. Derek, would you repeat what Madden just said, please? Madden, say it again, please. Is that what you said? Hang on, I actually don't think that's what you said, and, and I know it's not what you said because it's not exactly my idea either. Hold on one second, stay right here. Derek and Madden, this is an important mathematical idea and we're gonna get it, okay? You can do it. Look at this four right here. One, two, three, four. Do you agree it's four? Do you agree it's four? Yes. Okay, how do you know it's four? Mr. Torney just counted. Would you count with me to double check and make sure it's four? Let's go. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. Four? Okay, this four is at the bottom of the card. Look at the four over here. One, two, three, four. Would you count that with me, please? One, one two, two, three, four. four. It's still one four, is right? And one is down. I'm saying this one's up and down like this, and this one's down. What is Mr. Torney saying? Up and down. This one is? Up and that one is down. Okay, this one's up and that one's down, or they're in different places, yeah. but they're still four. What do we think about that? Turn and tell your partner. How can this still be six plus four equals 10? Or how can these both be four if they're in different places? Turn and talk. They're both four. They're both four because they're both four. Enrique, let's change these friends. They're both four. You guys, how do you know that they're both four? We're not talking about that. How do you know that they're both four? How do you know they're both four? Yeah, but they're not in the same spot. I'm going to still be four. Okay, what's the next? Yeah. What do you think about that? Still, but interesting. Turn back this way, please. Turn back this way, please. Thanks for finishing up your conversations. We're going to take a few last closing comments, and then next time we have math workshop, we're going to keep working with this conundrum. How can numbers be the same when they're in different places? Oh, Eveline. 
Is Evelyn not here? Oh, you're right here. You're right in front of me. What do you think about that? Look, you have one too. That's that's pretty similar. Six plus four. What's the same about the fours? Okay. Um, oh, or what's different? Oh, hang on. I'm looking at your four right here. Do you agree that that's four? Do you agree that this is four? Do you agree <laughs> that this is four? So what's so they're all four, but something's different about them. What's different about them? Um, because yep. they're different because uh, um, I have six and four and I have Right, six and four made ten, and on this one six and four made ten, and on this one six and four made ten. I was hearing my friend Danielle talk about this in his turn and talk. Would you share your comment with us? This is last word. They're both in. Nine. They're all. They're, they're all. They're all four, but they're not in the same spot. And sometimes they're in, they're they're not in the same spot because people draw them different ways. Mm -hmm. But they're all still. They're all Mathematicians, that's crazy. I just heard Danielle saying, Maria, I need your eyes, that they all have four, but they're in different places because people decomposed 10 in different ways, but they still make groups of four. We're going to talk more about that at Math Workshop tomorrow and figure out what is going on with that. Oh, right now, Mr. Tony's going to go ahead and collect your papers, and then I'm going to invite you to calmly get in line for outside time.